Hey guys, Moneyman300 back for some more videos. And what I wanna do here is a little bit more formal introduction for the red and blue for one and two series. This is a multiplayer series I'm doing with Rock King 3. And I already did kind of a mini intro in the first video. You know, I kind of intended that to be the full intro, but when I listened to it back, that really didn't give very much information, good information on it. So I want to just set it up a little bit more here. So what we're doing is we're trying to finish first and second and three with three different cars in each class in multiplayer races. And the reason we pick three different cars is for the different types of tracks. We want to have one, one grip car for those tighter tracks that require grip and acceleration, a, a speed car for those tracks like Indy GP, and the Sebring tracks and others that require more speed. Road America is another good example, at least the long Road America. And then momentum based tracks, what we call momentum tracks that have, have more higher speed turns, less tight turns, things like Nürburgring, uh, the Alps, Prague, those types of tracks. So it gives us really three different types of cars that we can use. Now, if we finish first and second with one, one car, we're not gonna use it anymore. So it's gonna get interesting as we get through this that you know maybe we're done with our speed car and a speed track comes up. We have to figure out which car we use to try to finish first and second in there. So get a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a challenge in there to, to do. So let me show you guys the three cars that we picked. And we tried to pick uh, non-leaderboard cars. I came up with a list of about you know five or six of each and shot those over to Rock King and then he he kind of rated them first, second, and third in each one and then we then we went with the you know cars that we we're both comfortable with. So and and cars that aren't you're not going to see dominant cars in here. They'll they'll be good but but hopefully not dominant. Um, you know not you know you won't see the mini for instance or if there's something 80 of the top 100 or one car you won't see um, but they're still good and they're still competitive cars that are meant to give you guys some alternatives um, to use out there so when we do finish a car uh, we'll also put up the build and tune we'll each and we're each doing our own build and tune on this so um, you know so that the, so you get a couple of different looks at at what what these might look like and, and, and can go back and forth or pick the one that you like. So um, let's go in here and take a look. So what you're looking at here is, this is our momentum car for the Alps and Prague type tracks. And this is the Alfa, 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider. So we chose that one. Decent car, but not, you know, it'll sprinkle in a couple in the top 500 here and there, but not, you know, not super dominant. Fun car to drive. Um, I'm actually on version two of this. Uh, you'll see some earlier versions of it in, a, you know, I think one video is already up on that. And then um, I had a couple more before I finally I couldn't take it. I had to, I had to do some rebuild on that because it was just just too slow, too slow, and it didn't handle very well. I'm much happier with the, my second version of that. That's that one. The our speed car now is the AMC Javelin AMX in 1971. That's actually a pretty good speed car in D class. It's not great. It gets better as it goes up for classes. You know, there's there's a few other muscle cars, the Trans Am and the Camaro and some other ones that are that are definitely better than this. But this is this is a nice speed car and fun to drive and it's just a cool car. So that's our speed car. And then our last one is the Renault 5. The Renault 5 Turbo. If I can get all the way over to my Renaults here. Rough Subaru. Oh, did I go past it? Rough Renault. Oh, there we go. And it's that one right there. So that's our grip car. So this is our, our last of the cars. It's gonna be used, you know, Laguna Seca, Catalonia, the Yas tracks most likely. And you'll see it on a couple of other ones. So that's our that's our grip car right there. So yep, and we're gonna upload the good races, the bad races, try to upload them all. The only exception there is we had a couple we've had a couple of races when, when we did our first block of them, um, where there might have been only been four people in the lobby, five people, and it was, you know, we probably pretty easily ran one two and a couple of those i'm not going to count those and we're probably not going to upload them maybe as bonus uh, for the tuning video but but we, we want to have we kind of set the bar at six we want a minimum of six people in the lobby uh before it could be you know a really a qualifying race so okay so that hopefully that helps uh, set this up a little bit better um than my original intro and hopefully you guys enjoy watching us it's definitely fun to do and get some more multiplayer racing in which is always good and this kind of fits in with with all the builds that that i'm doing for each of the classes and that gives you three additional cars um, as a part of that class setup so anyways i'm going to end it with that thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one later